before you got this job? Okay. Well, certainly the issues that have been the most passionate for me are like issues relating to poverty, uh, relating to housing, particularly affordable housing, um, and probably I would say education, because more than anything, those issues are the things that just out the gate, um, if someone doesn't have those things, you know, if, if you're already being held down because your family doesn't have access to a whatever it may be because you're very low income, you don't have stable housing, you're homeless, um, or you don't have access to high quality public education, you know, just out the gate, without having done anything wrong yourself, you're already at such a disadvantage in terms of life opportunities and in terms of your ability to, to achieve. Um, and so those have been issues that have been, I've been very passionate about. Before I uh, went to the Legislative Council, I was working at, uh, at a nonprofit uh, law firm called uh, Public Advocates, and they work uh, on a lot of issues relating relating to that. For, specifically, I was working on uh, housing issues. Uh, and, um, as we all know, that's a huge issue in the state. Um, and certainly, even now, as a young professional with a decent job, it's still a bit of a struggle because, you know, it, it really, we have a housing crisis at all levels, whether it's renters, whether it's homeowners, whether it's people who are middle class, lower middle class, working class. Um, and so those those challenges in my personal life have been very significant, given that I come from a pretty um, uh, a pretty humble roots back, uh, family. You know, and in terms of education, my sisters and I are the first in our family to go to college, to get degrees. And for us, that's really opened a whole window of opportunity and, and really, um, you know, sort of advancement in a way that we've, we've never experienced. You know, my my grandfather, my grandfather lived all his life basically in Puerto Rico. Worked in sugarcane, uh, sugarcane fields in Puerto Rico. Never learned to speak, uh, not speak. Never learned to read and write. He was illiterate his entire life because he just never had access to education over there to survive. My mom was fortunate enough when she came to California. From